crowded field of potential Republican hopefuls for 2016, but three non-front runners are making headlines. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker, former Hewlett Packard CEO Carly Fiorina, and uh, the Republican from Florida, the Senator Marco Rubio. But do any of them actually have a, sta a chance to win the nomination? Sure. Here with his political scorecard is Republican political strategist Adam Goodman. He joins us today from Tampa. We're jealous. You don't have snow. Good morning, Dan. <laughs> Not a lot of snow down here today, Steve. That's right. Okay, so we're going to, you know, everybody's talking about the front runners, Jeb and, and Chris Christie and also uh, Mitt Romney these days. So we're going to take a look at uh, Walker and Carly Fiorina and Marco Rubio. You've got this uh, prediction system where on a scale of one to five, uh, the the generally the feeling that they would wind up with the nomination, five being they're going to wind up with it. Let's start. Give us a, an assessment of Governor Scott Walker. What do you like about him? Uh, courageous, hands-on. He took on the public unions over pension reform. Kind of, out of taken out of the mold of Tommy Thompson. Fiscal conservative, calls it like it is. Uh, very attractive and, and did very well, actually, in Iowa. Uh, his challenge is going to be uh, developing a national donor base. Uh, and uh, having sustainability in a field full of a lot of choices. Sure. Well, he was in Iowa over the weekend. We've got a soundbite. Here he is in action. The measure of success in government is how many people are no longer dependent on the government. He really wowed him. So on a basis of one to five, five being yes, he would uh, wind up with the nomination. What do you give him? I say he's about a, 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 a two right now, but really? can I qualify that? Sure. Let me qualify that. Uh, I would have given uh, many others who back in 2012 were running for a president a one to start with, and at different times they were winning the Republican nomination fight. Uh, Michelle Bachman, sure. Carmen Kane, 999. So he's, he's got a shot at this, and I think people are looking at this as the great audition, Steve. All right. Meanwhile, let's talk about Carly Fiorina, former Hewlett Packard CEO. Uh, she was in Iowa as well and said this. Like Hillary Clinton, I too have traveled hundreds of thousands of miles around the globe. But unlike her, I've actually accomplished something. Okay, so Adam, what do you like about her? Carly has broken every glass ceiling on her way to the top of the tech industry, uh, working for Lucent, Hewlett Packard, and others. She is smart. She's aggressive. She's different. She's outside the box. You know, her challenge, I think, in this race is going to be against sustainability. And she did run uh, not so long ago against Barbara Boxer in California. A lot of Republicans thought she'd have a chance actually to win that race. I think she ended up losing by 10. So she's got her work cut out for her, but she's got an audience. And I think mm -hmm. she's, uh, she's, again, cut out of a different mold than a traditional Republican. And you say her uh, prediction of success is like a one or a two. Uh, finally, let's a very talk strong one. Okay, a very strong <laughs> one. Great. Uh, finally, let's talk about Marco Rubio. Uh, what do you like about him? Uh, Marco Rubio is the ultimate uh, immigrant made good success story in America. He not only brings his message uh, powerfully, a patriotic message, but brings it well. Uh, I think he's, uh, he's going to be a real factor in this race. His challenge, Steve, is going to be simply uh, he's got to win, among other things, his home state. And there's a guy by the name of Jeb Bush sure. who's gotten a very early start on that. And your prediction? My prediction is... Uh, uh, Marco is going to be a, two a or strong three. two in this race, yeah. uh, maybe a two or a three in this race. But here's the ball game. The bottom line, Steve, all of these Republicans are uh, are basically creating something very fresh in the conversation right. and ultimately have a chance to make us the party of tomorrow. And I hope that's what the consequence and the result will be. But it's going to be a heck of an experience sure. for all of us. All right. Uh, Adam Goodman, Republican strategist and president of the Victory Group. Thanks for joining us today from Tampa.